Hey, this is Mr. Pokemon123, and I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial of Alice. Alice is a very simple programming software that requires little to no knowing of programming. It's a 3D animation, so you get to see it running at the time that you were doing this. So, let's get started. Um, first, we would want to delete this first event because it's useless. And um, then get on to adding an object. Adding an object was in that corner if you didn't see, but now just add someone. I'm just going to go all the way down here to people. Click this astronaut and add him. He looks simple enough. So once we have this astronaut, we want to adjust him to where he is sized correctly to where he is turned correctly and everything so now that we have him done just click done and there you go so let's create something so he moves so what we do is click on this new event tab go down to let the arrow keys move subject subject move is camera then go to properties click on the astronaut and put vehicle to camera. This vehicle to camera is going to make it so he follows the camera wherever he goes. So, um, or vice versa, the camera follows him. Um, so now that we have this, when we click play, and we can uh, walk around just normally, no problems but we want it to where we can make a jump too because I mean the up carol makes he goes forward not jump so let's just add in some motion let's make a create a new events and when the key is typed so when spacebar is typed it will do our first method so when spacebar is typed do for my first method there we go my first method would be in here you can use it as your first remaining method but this is just a quick tutorial you don't really if you want to create another one name it something else just click on new method but I'm not so now we would click on the astronaut his whole body um, and then put move astronaut to move up half a meter and then put it to 0.5 meters because that seems like a logical thing. I mean, he wouldn't jump really that high if it was a meter. And then go to more as seen by camera so you see it. The screen sees it because the camera is the screen. Then move to abruptly so that it moves abruptly. Then duration. Let's set it to 0.25 because usually half of what the the jump time is you want to have half of the second so let's say it's 0.5 half of 0.5 meters is 0.25 seconds so we would so now that we're done with all of this we want to make it so he moves back down when he's done like when it's done pressing spacebar move back down to where it was so we would just make copy and then change this to move down it's as simple as that there's no scripting of typing like Python or anything. Just drag and drop like Scratch. And if you don't know Scratch, I'll be posting later tutorials on Scratch. And depending on how many views I get and how many messages I get. So message me if you want to learn how to use Scratch. So um, once we've uh, created this and it's in my my first method, we can just play it, and as you see, he jumps. It's not that great of a jump, but he still jumps. And so, it, pretty simple. It's just like that, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And comment if you want me to fix something, or you think something is wrong, or if you want future tutorials. Okay, guys. Bye.